how to use your ACR presets. Once you purchase the ACR presets, it's very important to back those up onto a disc other than your computer. But when you're ready to install, you can come over to our website, click on the Help tab, and then How to Install ACR Presets. Here is a quick instruction on where to put the files, but I'm going to show you using a Mac. It is um, very similar on a PC computer, but I just want to show you here we have two folders open. I have my application support folder, my computer on the left, and here is the zip file unzipped on my right. It's nice to have two of them open at a time so that you can drag and drop or copy and paste. So to find where the presets go, we're going to look under our application support. We'll find the folder called Adobe. Then we will go into Camera Raw and find the folder named Settings. All presets should be put into this Settings folder and they should be XMP files. So once you've unzipped the, file, the folder that you purchased, you're going to highlight all the XMP files. Do not grab the PDF. You're going to copy and then paste those over into the settings folder. Once you're done with that, you can open up in a raw image into Photoshop. Here we are using Camera Raw 6.7 edition, but you can use a, a later edition, something more new. It's just our preference. We like this one. Um, and basically what you start with is a great list of beginning to end um, actions or presets rather. So you can start off with using the regular starting base exposure. This is my favorite. If you're a clean um, editor, then this is, an, is a preset that will make everything perfect. Once you do that, you're going to drill into different exposures. So if the starting base isn't enough and you want to take the exposure down just a little, you can slowly walk through, and these are stackable, so you can walk through and watch what it does to your photo. The minus underexposes, the plus overexposes. So we're going to go in and find something that's just perfect for us. Then what you can do is go into your different films. So you'll have many colorizing films in here. This set is really great for that luxe, matte, beautiful finish. So we can go there or you can kind of click through and find what you like. Once you find something that you like, you will go to save and then select a folder for the files, so generally I will name this folder after my client and go in and change the name. So if this was Samantha, let's go Sam Hughes, and then you could do a two digit and click save. Make sure that your maximum is on 12 JPEG and you'd be all set. If you want to then, once you've saved your color, the great thing is you can quickly come in and do a beautiful black and white. So now you can see with this black and white, it's a very dark exposure for black and white is not always the same. So I want to lighten it up. I want to go into the plus. So let's go into a, probably a 35 will look great on here. Again, then you would come in to save and save it once more. So it's very simple to edit quickly. The great thing about this set is it also has some different clarity boosts. So you can come in once you've set your colorizers or your black and whites and choose which clarity you like better. The clarity and contrast is really important during your editing. There are a few extras that you can do. You can do some smoothing and recovering of highlights if you want to give a soft glow. So I hope that this helps you, but these are really great um, for editing. You will get almost everything you will need, but if you need to adjust them anymore, you would click back onto your basics and adjust them further. Thank you so much for watching.